So on question number six, um, what we have in this case is, again, now we have an isosceles triangle. Now, the only thing we remember about an isosceles triangle, what we remember about an isosceles triangle is these two angles are equal in measure. Do you have this one, say? Okay. Number six. So we know that these two are equal in measure, but we don't know what their measure is, right? So if we don't know a value, can we use something to represent its value? Yes? Sure, let's do x, right? x is very. So if let's call this x. Well, if that's x, then we have to call that one x, right? Because we know they have to be the same measurement based on our theorem of isosceles triangles. And then we can notice, well, if I want to solve for x, I need to write an equation. So Philip, what I'll look at, I'll just say, well, I can say then 180 degrees is equal to 40 degrees plus x plus x. Does that make sense? Right? Because the sum of all the angles in a triangle add up to 180. So therefore, I'll subtract 40. And I'll say 140 equals 2x. Divide by 2, divide by 2. 7 degrees equals x. Ta -da. Just like that. Blake, you got it? You good? Feel good?